All right. Welcome back, everybody. Again, once again, this is another. Uh, this is for uh, anyone that's taken migration class. Once again, we are going to draw. I mean, we're going to actually come up with the equation of motion according to this problem. Um, as you see, I located the distances, and I apologize if this is not clear. Uh, over here, we have a spring, K1, and we have another spring, K2, and then we have a damper. And we're assuming that this rod from this original position is going to rotate counterclockwise. Let's go back to the basics. Since this is a rod, it has a moment of inertia. In this case, let's break down this moment of inertia. Basically, uh, a, there's a given equation for this moment of inertia for this rod. In this case, let me draw you an actual rod. And let's say that this is the actual center. And this is the pin that we were at. Oh, this is the center of mass. Okay, so based on this, the moment of inertia based on point O, it would be 1 over 12, the mass of the rod times the whole distance. And let's say that this distance is L times L square plus the moment, uh, the, the mass, or should I say the extension of this right here, and let's call this distance from the, the center of the mass to point O, let's call this distance V, just to, to clarify things, it would be M. This is the same thing as that, times the distance V squared. Just to clarify everything, okay? After we got that down, So for us to actually come up with the equation of motion, the first thing you need to do is actually draw the free body diagram. So, and the free body diagram looks, this is the pin, which is O. And this is supposed to be theta. And we know the distance is here, this is 1 fourth. Okay, and for the damping, since the rod is gonna be going in that direction, we automatically know that the force is going to be opposing it. In this case, it's going to actually point downward. And the force for the damping is F equals the C, which is damping constant, times the velocity. And in this case, we'll put it in terms of X dot. I'm sure, uh, I don't know if you guys are taking dynamics, but we know that the distance in terms of X is X, and the velocity is X dot and then the acceleration is x double dot. Same thing as if we put it in term of theta. This becomes theta dot. This is theta double dot. Okay, taking this out of the way, let's continue the prop, uh, drawing the free body diagram. We have c, x uh, dot, and then we have the force right here also. Since the rod is gonna be going counterclockwise, this one is going to be K2, X2. And then, since it's going that way, we automatically know that this force, the spring over here, is going to go actually in the upper direction. And this one, we'll call it X, uh, K1, X1, the force of the spring. Okay, having drawn this free body diagram, now we can actually draw the we can actually write down the equation of motion based on what we've got here. So starting out, what we'll do is, since it's actually rotational, we will do the actual moment at point O. So giving you guys the moment of inertia of the actual rod. So let's do this. We can say the summation of the moment at O equals the moment of inertia. Okay? Having said that, looking at this, and now let's just say that in this case, we're saying anything going counterclockwise is positive. So let's do the moment, and the moment that we have here, let's start out with K1, X1. The force of uh, the spring one right here, it looks to me, since it's opposing the direction, it's gonna be negative K1, X1, 
times the distance from point the pen O to this right here, which is called one fourth, and then minus. Let's do this right here. It's still opposing, and it's going to be minus c x dot, which this is the force, and now the distance. In this case, the distance is going to be one fourth. Okay, um, minus also k two x two times the distance, which in this case is one half, equals the moment of inertia. Touch your rod. Break this even further. We know that it's actually 1 over 12 m l squared, or in this case, what I'll do is just 1 squared, because the whole distance of the rod is 1, plus m, and the distance between pen, pen O to the center, uh, to the actual the distance for the center mass, center of gravity, they call it. In this case, it happened to be 1 fourth. is, as you guys see, this is in terms of x, and we have theta. Since this is rotational, we have to convert all this in terms of theta. So going back to the basics, if you have, I'll draw it right here. If you have a circle, and you have a radius, and let's actually say that this right here is theta. So let's assume that this ball actually is going clockwise. To find the distance based on this angle, to find this distance, which is the, the linear, the transitional, let's call it x, to find this distance or the how far it actually traveled based on this angle, we know that x would equal theta times r, and so on and on. On the acceleration. Okay. Having said that, now let's change all this in, into the terms of theta. Okay. So let me clear this out for you guys. Let's say that we have this pin right here, and this is the actual rod. But in this case, now we change in these terms, and this is actually theta. So now, we have this term, distance right here, which I'll call it x2, and this is pretty much the, the force. We have k2, the spring, and then we have the damper here, and then we have this one right here. Okay. So to change these terms into the terms of theta, well, we know that, think of this as like, if it was in a circle, and this is the radius, and this happened to be that this length from here to here is 1 over 4, and so on and on. This is 1 fourth, and this is from here to here is 1 half. So x1 equals theta times 1 over 4 x dot in this case would be theta times also 1 fourth because the distance from here to here is 1 fourth and then x2 would actually be theta and based from this pin to that distance we know that this is 1 fourth and this is a half so this whole total distance is Three fourth. This becomes three fourth. I'll square. I'm sorry, guys. I take that back. For this right here, it's actually x two times three over four. Okay, because this is supposed to be taking the moment based in reference at pen O. It's not one half. I apologize for that. Okay.
taking that back. This is not supposed to be squared over here. I apologize. This is what it's supposed to be. So now let's convert everything in terms of